So hey everybody, my name is Sarah Zafro, and I'm an artist and an educator based in Pittsburgh. And I first met Andrea Lurier, who works here at The Caring Place. And the two of us just hit it off and we began talking about creativity, art, uh, more about what The Caring Place does and its importance uh, when it comes to helping kids and families. And she said, hey, Sarah, you know, we are updating our toddler room and we have all this furniture. Would you be willing to paint it? And I said, of course, I'd be so excited to do that. So part of my interest is early childhood design. And I love thinking about bright, fun shapes that are empowering, that are colorful, that are playful, and also so that kids can sort of look at it and learn something from looking at the art and feel like a sense of peace and safety. And so that's sort of the theme of all the artwork in here. And I ended up painting uh, eight chairs, a table, and a toy chest. So a lot of times when I'm beginning to brainstorm, I'll look at some images. So for example, Andrea sent me a few samples of some ideas. And then I sort of looked at those and then got out my iPad or maybe it was my sketchbook. And I just started making some drawings with um, some wavy lines, just some different organic shapes. And, and then I included some hearts. And I just sort of started playing around with different patterns using some uh, shapes that were larger than others or some lines that were smaller and larger, some vi varying the sizes, and just came up with just like a little fun, playful um, creation. And I also, I think it's important to say that I drew all of the chairs ahead of time and on each chair made a sketch and actually said like, green would go here, yellow would go here, purple would go here. So in my mind, I made a plan, but as I was uh, saying and thinking a little earlier, that plan though is flexible, so it changes a little bit, but I planned it out ahead of time, and that enables me to, to be a little more loose and free when it actually comes to executing, because I've already thought it out. So again, like being an educator, I work with children, and well, people of all ages, and when I think about how can I use the art to serve? How can I um, uh, use the art to create a better space, a better place? How can it deliver a message that's inclusive and that's loving? And so immediately, again, when Andrea asked me to create the designs for this project, I just thought about something that would be calming. So that's part of the color palette. The wavy lines would be soothing in some ways. The heart would send a message to every child that when they looked at the furniture, it's like, oh yeah, I'm loved. Because again, a lot of times in my artwork and with the students that I'm working with, I've, uh, I'm always including mindfulness, wellness, mental health, um, and just really using the art to let people know that they're loved and that they're heard and seen. Two places to find me would be at loveiscolorful underscore project. So that's a project that I'm currently working on about art, learning, and empathy. And then the other is my art Instagram account, at Zephyro Art. So those are the two best places, two accounts to find me and just learn a little bit more about what I do and where you can find my art.